To the disappointment of many, the Raspberry Pi is not actually a delicious baked pastry, but is instead a miniature computer which can run Linux. However, what it lacks in sweet berry filling, it makes up for with its CPU, giving it much more processing power than most desserts, with certain key exceptions. Hi, I'm Sam Freeman with Make. Whether you're a fan of Vogon poetry or a hoopy fruit on an island planet cruise, you'll find that learning a new language can be frustrating. But with today's weekend project by Dave Conroy, you'll use the wholly remarkable Raspberry Pi to build your very own universal translator. It supports voice recognition and playback, translates between thousands of language pairs, and is way more comfortable than sticking a fish in your ear. The Universal Translator works by recording a spoken phrase, using a headset and the Raspberry Pi. It then converts it into text by using Google's speech recognition. This text is then fed into Microsoft's Translation API, where it is translated into the desired language, and then turned back into speech once again. The Raspberry Pi then plays the translated phrase back to the user through the headset. This comes in handy for determining exactly how offended you should be when someone insults you in a foreign language. You can purchase most of the components for this project by stopping by your local Radio Shack. And if your planet doesn't have a Radio Shack, you can always order them online. You'll only need a computer and an afternoon to complete this moderately difficult build. The first thing you need to do is get your Raspberry Pi up and running with the latest software. If you haven't done that yet, consult the project page for links on how to get started. You'll also want to make sure your Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet. Next. Plug in the USB headset and run the list of commands found on the project page. The goal is to make the USB headset the default input and output device by updating the Advanced Linux Sound Architecture or ALSA configuration file. Go ahead and download the source files and install them as described on the project page. You'll need access to APIs from both Google and Microsoft to get the Universal Translator working. Follow the steps on the project page to get access to these APIs, and then insert the API keys into the appropriate blocks of Python code. Now that both the API keys have been created and entered into the provided code, you can try out the Universal Translator. With the headset on and the code running, speak a phrase into the microphone and press Ctrl-C when done. My hovercraft is full of eels. You should hear the translation in the headset and see the feedback in the command line. Translating my hovercraft is full of eels. Mi aire deslizador está lleno de anguilas. By default, it translates from English to Spanish. You can easily change your origin and destination languages in the last line of the code. There are thousands of language pairs supported. What's more, with a battery pack, a momentary switch instead of a keyboard, a Wi-Fi adapter, and some creative recoding, your Universal Translator could be made portable enough to take with you wherever you might find yourself going. Oh well, I've got to go. It's been great talking to you, and if you build your own Universal Translator, be sure to share it on the project page. <laughs> Never mind. So long, and thanks for all the pie. <laughs>